Thanks for being here. I'm John Erickson with your NBC 26 News Update. Thousands of people here in Wisconsin could be evicted as the federal eviction moratorium expired this weekend. The CDC put the moratorium in place at the beginning of the pandemic, allowing millions of renters who were behind on their payments to stay in their homes. An attorney in Wisconsin who represents landlords so that grants made available to struggling renters will help soften the blow. Evictions will be higher than they have been historically, and by historically, I mean 2019, not 2020, because of course they were obviously way down, way down last year. But uh, I don't think they'll be that much above the historical average ultimately. And maybe they'll even be below that average because now we, we have money available to help people who, who can't pay their rent, which we did not have. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other House Democratic leaders called on the Biden administration to immediately extend the nation's eviction moratorium, calling it, quote, a moral imperative, unquote, to prevent Americans from being put out of their homes during a COVID-19 surge. Some could be evicted as soon as today. The pandemic again impacting the Milwaukee Brewers as two more players, pitchers Jake Cousins and Hunter Strickland, have tested positive for the virus. They are in quarantine and missed yesterday's game against the Braves. The team said both of them were fully vaccinated. Last week, star outfielder Christian Yelich tested positive. He was also out for yesterday's game. The Brewers won 2-1. to one. Time now for a check of our weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron. John, after highs in the lower to mid 70s yesterday, we're looking at mid to upper 70s today and tomorrow we're going to see some lower to mid 80s. We'll have sunshine mixing with a few clouds for your latest news, sports and weather. Download the NBC 26 News app. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day, everybody.